race. A 148-1. He's almost two seconds clear of Siwa. Geiser was quicker than Siwa that time around by a full second. A 50.3 and a 49.3 for the Honda rider. Paul Ant is next. Six seconds further back from Montrenezi Wilbo Yamaha. He's in fourth ahead of his teammate, Tonus. Van Horbeek in sixth place. He did get the better start that he was asking for. And he's only a second down on Tonus. Similar lap times. As Geiser around the outside, same move as it was in race one, but not able to make it stick this time. <laughs> Trying to work something out at the bottom of the hill, but again, he's going to have to be aggressive here, and he does. Pox! See what? Second then for Geiser. He knows he has to go after Fevre if he is to take. An eighth Grand Prix victory in a row, ninth of the season. But he's got his work cut out, because there's Fevre disappearing off into the distance. Oh, Searle is down. He already had a little bit of rib damage. Where is that? Is that coming out behind pit lane area? I think it might be. So the number 100, Tommy Searle, out of ninth place for Monster Energy Kawasaki Racing Team. See what guys he can do from here then. Brother Neck on the right hand side. Not done yet. Guys pulls this one out of the bag. That'll be kind of against the, the run of play, if you like. 2.7 down on Fevre, because you get the feeling that, as you say, as we said earlier, it's uh, kind of his nemesis really, this track. Not that he never really does well here, but he's never won here. Watch this. Downhill, hard on the brakes. Had no opportunity, had no uh, other option really. Firm but fair. Bottom end of the circuit. He already committed to the right hand side. Siwa tried to attack. Had nowhere to go. 